My kidneys had shut down. Uh, I was having trouble breathing. My oxygen levels were kind of like in the 80s. It's almost as if every person that has been touched by COVID has some type of remaining impact. Long haulers. We've been hearing their story since the pandemic began. People who are weeks or months out from their COVID diagnosis still having symptoms. The most common brain fog, fatigue and muscle pains. Doctors have said they don't know why some patients have symptoms that stick around and others don't. But now Arkansas researchers might be one step closer to figuring it out. Our Little Rock station explains. This is a research team that came together in February from multiple different departments across UAMS. None of them had really ever worked together before, but they all had one interest, figuring out what was causing these long COVID symptoms. Their potential findings coming as a relief for those suffering daily. Surviving is one thing, but I'd like to be back to feeling the way I was before. It's a feeling Tom Harrington hasn't felt in over a year. It just gets kind of deflating because as much as you want to try to do something, I don't have the energy to do it or my head's hurting really bad. After being diagnosed with COVID on June 21st, 2020 and hospitalized for 11 days, those symptoms still linger. Harrington spent the last several months going to doctor after doctor trying to figure out why. Any kind of research that could, could pinpoint a cause uh, to me would be, be a great, great thing, even if there wasn't a a way to, to cure it. Thanks to researchers and doctors at UAMS like John Arthur, hope could be coming. We found that there's an antibody in patients that have had the coronavirus infection that could be related to the symptoms that people get with long haul COVID. According to Arthur, this antibody shows up weeks after the initial infection and creates problems for the immune system by attacking the enzyme that helps regulate the body's response to COVID. In other words, the body may be attacking itself even after the virus is gone. If we're right, there actually um, there's some commercially available drugs that may actually even help with this. Arthur is hopeful with more studies on the way, some relief could come for Harrington and so many others. If we can find the mechanism and find a way to treat it, that's going to be a tremendous improvement for a lot of people in terms of the quality of their life.